What's up everyone? Dark Mesa here, ready to do a concert review for Rotting Christ in New York. So going into this, I had seen Karg Ongren a few times, they were one of the openers, on 70,000 Tons of Metal and opening up for Children of Bodom in 2017. That was a great show. My main memory of them is that they don't have a bass player, but that they're also highly theatrical. Despite what some people say, you do actually notice the bass when it's not there. It's very rarely a standout instrument in bands that aren't Iron Maiden, but it is part of the sonic spectrum. Go watch CS Guitar's video on how to dial in metal sounds for why the bass will be important in most metal bands. I had never listened to Rotting Christ before this show. I mainly knew them as that band that Mustaine inadvertently got kicked off of a festival. I had not seen or listened to either of the other two openers. In fact, I missed the first one. So I'm primarily going to be focusing on the last two bands, Karak Ongren and Rotting Christ. Karak Ongren was great, as always. I think they had a bass track going through the PA this time. When I saw them open for Children of Bodom in 2017, I definitely noticed the sonic difference between them and Lost Society and Children of Bodom. This time, and this was at the Gramercy Theater, so it's a new venue, the difference was far less pronounced. In fact, I don't think it was there at all. One of their songs had a bass part, a bass intro, played over the PA. Some ways you believe that they up to production, they do have a bass going, it's just not being played by a live musician. <laughs> Sounded fine. The vocalist always puts on a really good show. I've always thought, and this is my fourth time seeing them, how does he get up there and emote that much? Does the corpse paint help him just slide into character? I was thinking I would feel so afraid of being judged for being that emotive up there. Hey, that's why I'm doing these reviews instead of getting on stage, I guess. So, Rotting Christ, again, no background with them, had never heard a single song. I knew they were black metal. I did not know they'd been around since 1987. I was expecting this to be a very undynamic show. I was conjuring, like, the mayhem aesthetic. Like, very fast blast beats all the time, 200 plus BPM for every song. And I was very pleasantly surprised when it was not that. I found that their songs had a good amount of melody. I said to a friend after the show, it reminded me of a slightly darker In Flames. The irony here being that In Flames is death metal, whereas Rotting Christ is black metal, but sonically I did hear quite a difference, at least live. As I said, I went in knowing nothing. Unfortunately, I can't call out standout tracks here because I wasn't aware of any of them as they were happening. I will say that Rotting Christ, I think, had by far the best sound. I saw that the guitar players, sorry, nerd moment coming up, were using PV6505s instead of digital amps. They were, I thought, the only band that had a standout guitar tone. The guitar solos, I don't think they were there every song, but really did cut through and they sounded great. For the first few songs, I thought the guitar was far too low in the mix, but eventually the sound person caught on. But I digress. Great show, very impressed. It almost makes me feel bad for skipping Running Christ on this past 70,000 tons of metal. They were playing during the All-Star Jam. Their other set was during Deathless Legacy. I don't regret that one as much. See you next time, people. Rock on.